Hey everybody, I'm Lex from PDQ.com. I have a question. If you've ever tried to script rules that'll read your email just so you don't have to, you're probably a sysadmin. Anywho, hit that subscribe button if you are. I am going to take you through how you would run a registry edit file, uh, a PowerShell file, a batch file, and if you want to flash back to the 90s, a Visual Basic script file using PDQ inventory, or deploy. We don't need inventory for that. Let's build a new package. All right, so right out the gate, let's just talk about um, a couple of different steps where you can use this. One, PowerShell. Okay, you can do a PowerShell step. You can write your PowerShell here, or you can insert a PowerShell file. There we go, AppX. It references it there. That's one way to do it. It's a great way to do it. Again, that's your PowerShell step. The other way you can do, oh, excuse me, let's talk about batch files next. Command step. Again, you can write your batch file here or you can insert a batch file. Let's go to my desktop, look under my installs, and there's a batch bat file. Again, calls it and it will run this. That's what it runs. Okay. Now, again, there's a right tool for the right job. Yes, you can run those errors. There's another place you can run it. In fact, you can run almost all of these in an install step. Let me show you that install step what you would do is you'd go and select your file that you're looking for so we've already talked about a batch file we already talked about uh well let's just do a batch file this is what it looks like when you do a batch file you select the batch file check out right here this is what's actually going to get run on the end user machine you're calling command.exe front slash s front slash c and the name of the batch file that's going to be copied out there Again, very similar to that. If you do PowerShell, once again, we'll do an AppX PowerShell. Here's the command that's going to get run. Looks exactly the same as the, the one in the PowerShell step. Again, it gets wrapped in. And the nice thing it does, it does a bypass on the execution policy. Makes it nice for you. Uh, let's go take a look at the, well, I'm not ready to flash back to the 90s yet. So let's go look for registry edit file. Regex. Again, we just select that on the install file line here. Check it out. We're going to run a reg edit front slash s and the name of the registry, the reg file that we're going to run against that. That'll do that. I mean, again, very simple. And then finally, let's flash back to the 90s. Doodly -doo, doodly -doo. We're going to grab that 90s VB script, give it an OK, and check it out. Because it's a .vbs, we know to run a C script.exe front slash front slash B and then the name of the script. That's what's going to get run on your end user machine. So a um, couple different ways to do a few of these, but again, you can do all of those from an install step uh, using PDQ deploy to deploy those. Thanks for watching. I'm Lex from PDQ.com.